You read it right, man. You read it right. My phone has been going fucking crazy all goddamn day. And it's about to go even crazier. All right. Yes. I'm saying goodbye to Stevens already. Oh, Trucker Dude Brent, the guy that just got out of grad phase and is now a regular flight driver, which nothing really changed for me. But I'm going to break it down for you and I'm going to explain to you what logic I've come to uh, and what why I feel like Stevens Transport Contractor Division or Alliance Division is not going to work for me specifically. And uh, maybe you can fit into the role as well. You're going to have to deal with the fucking sound. I will not, I can't stop getting notifications. I'm, I'm, I am I have not been off the phone but this one time. And I sure as fuck know that I'm gonna get phone calls still, constantly. And it's fucking, it's past closing time, dude. It's time for people to shut down for the day and leave me the fuck alone for a minute, okay? So I can film this. Cause I just did a lot of math. Uh, and I'm also, <sighs> might be talking a million miles a minute cause I'm excited. I got the approval for my orientation start date uh, at, at Prime. I'm gonna take two weeks off and spend some much needed time at home with the family um, and not feel like I'm gonna be in the hole when I get back to work, okay? And so let me kind of break it down. I, uh, I, they sent, I've been at, I've been at this for a little bit, okay? And uh, they sent an employment verification today and Stevens found out about it. Where's my mod? God damn it. Hold on. Fuck. Sorry. So they sent an employment verification to Stevens and uh, that my DM calls me and he's like, it, it was weird, dude. It felt it felt like a uh, like a breakup that was gonna, you know, you guys were you guys were cool about it, you were both cool about it. Um, but you know you know like you're never gonna talk again, even though you had that we we'll still be friends, you know. And then you just never hear from them again. That's kind of what it felt like, you know. It was weird. And I, he's like, you know, what's going on? You know, what's what's the deal? You know, what? You know, we always want to see if there's something we can do to make it better. Like, what what are you looking for? Like, what's going on? And I told him straight up. I was like, man, I with my setup, the way that I'm doing things, and you know, I, I got five kids. You know, I'm barely pulling six hundred dollars a week. Uh, and of course that's gonna change with this five cent increase uh, which I was told extensively which I'll talk about here in a bit uh, I actually got the Qualcomm message still with her name so I'll know for sure uh, who that is and I'll be able to tell your name and all that shit to kind of because she needs some counseling of some kind to know how to talk to people because uh, bully tactics don't work with me and I'm sure it puts off a lot of people and that's why they're not able to hold on to nobody because if you had somebody that was a little more concerned somebody might stick around a little longer but so anyways my dm was asking me like what was going on i told him i was like dude um the lease purchase program with stevens is a joke like um for one like a loan wrangler uh i believe that's what he changed his name to on my youtube channel i had asked a very pertinent question that made my brain boil uh like you're a contractor with stevens but you don't get to negotiate shit you have an exclusive I've come to terms with that, right? Okay, I I don't have any say on how much I'm getting paid, right? It's a set rate for all contractors. You don't get to negotiate uh, the lane, even though we're getting paid cents per mile. Obviously, um, Stevens gets line pay. They get paid based on the load. So whatever that load pays out, they're pocketing the profit, and we're getting what we're getting paid for cents per mile. And a lot of people, you know, that's coming in because. Um, that's what you signed up for, right? That's what you know. And I've done the math on uh, one of the trips because one of the bills I got actually has what the freight was worth. And I based that on what I actually took home. And I'll explain that in a little bit. But I told him, I was like, man, the lease purchase program just isn't good for me. I, I, I can't survive. I don't feel like my time away from home is worth the money I'm making out here. Uh, and now that the incentives are done, for goddamn sure because now that the incentives are done I'm not making shit dude like it's I'd make more money in training at prime as a trainee making nine hundred dollars eight hundred even because I'm I didn't actually go to school there I make eight hundred that's still more than I'm making as a contractor with Stevens driving my own truck running my own freight doing all the math and doing the best that I can 
with the tools that I'm given. Stevens will tell you the sky is the limit, but they failed to tell you that they put you in a room with a glass ceiling. There's only so high you can get up before you can't go up anymore. There's only so much that you can do that you're reliant solely and purely on them to get you the money that you need. And I'll give you an example. I'm running, I got, I mean, I'm running on average 8.7 miles per fucking gallon. Let me tell you right now what I'm at. Look at this shit. Just so you know, I'm not bullshitting you. If you can read that, MPG over on the left, I'm sure for you guys, maybe it's the right, it's backwards for me. I'm sure it's going to be backwards. MPG is 9 miles per gallon. That's what I'm getting on average. 9 miles per gallon according to this. On the dash, 9.9. I was at today. I'm at a 9.4 right now. I got stuck in some traffic. But I... Did I just flip the fucking camera around? God, I hope not. Well, I'm going to go back and watch it and see. This is a... I'm already at six minutes, dude. God damn. It's worthy of it, though. It's worthy of it. Uh, like, this is a big fucking video. This is, like, a lot of shit that I'm just talking about. And, like, dumping all my... Everything out on the table, okay? I'm running at 9 miles a gallon average that is upper echelon miles per gallon in any truck right yeah sure i'm paying for it because i got a newer truck it's a peterbilt i got the miles per gallon granted this load is twenty eight thousand pounds so i mean i'm i lucked out with that okay yeah i'll admit that shit but even with the forty two thousand pound load i'm still pulling eight sevens you know so with that you know i'm very good on purchasing my fuel i'm very very uh zoned in on how much I can do on my own what the the tools that I'm given to maximize the amount of revenue that I can get based on my variable cost I am very adamant about marking down everything that I do every single trip sheet comes with one of these it, it's my trip plan and it has how much fuel I'm gonna need where I'm stopping to get it what the prices are and all that shit so I have it all right here on every single trip that I have every fucking trip has one I, I swear to God, I do it on all of them because I'm, I'm serious. I want to make as much money as I possibly can. And I have made as much money as I possibly can because, like I said, I'm stuck in that room with the glass ceiling. I can't get any high, higher up without some fucking help. And then that's where Bonnie Dorsey came in to try to talk me into staying with Stevens. Now with the pay increase, my average, uh, my break even has dropped 200 fucking uh, miles because the five cent increase has dropped my... 1571 average uh, I have to hit 1571 to hit my break even it dropped to 1371 so in turn I can get the bare minimum that I required when I started doing this and that's 1300 to 1500 dollars a week that's what I need to make so that I can survive I can keep sending money back to my family so they can live right so if I'm not making that I'm getting in the hole not on on top of all that shit I still got to pay my taxes right I don't have insurance there's all this shit right all these plans I have and I can't do it if I'm making six hundred dollars a week right so she calls me and she's trying to talk me into how we can hit that because she she misheard me I guess or what my DM told her that I wanted to make it around 1300 to 1500 no girl I want to make minimum 1300 to 1500 right and then she's saying that I'm still new like she didn't do any research on me at all right she didn't see that I'm capable of running up and upwards of 3,600 miles a fucking week before I have to take 34. If I'm given the right loads, I can run those miles. I'm barely hitting 2,500 miles a week because the loads that I'm getting are just fucked up. I'm just getting real unlucky with it. It's not like there's it's any fault of anybody else's. Nobody can foresee that shit, right? So I'm barely hitting 2,500 miles a week, and that's netting me six to 800 to maybe $900 a week if I'm really good on the fuel, right? And I usually am. I'm at, I started a quarter tank. By the time I drop that load, I'm at a quarter tank again, right? Every single time. And I feel like I'm, I've got that down packed, right? And I need that shit to maximize how much revenue I'm making. Cause I'm, I'm literally only buying the amount of fuel I need for the trip. I got a badass truck. I got good gas mileage. That's another thing. Those are, that's another thing that I can control is how much gas mileage I get. You know, I mean, granted traffic and shit like that. But she, every time I had a rebuttal to anything that she had mentioned, she would have a 20 minute spiel to where she wouldn't even let me get a word in edgewise to like rebuttal anymore. It's like, she's been doing 15 years, so I should just listen to her and take her word for it. 
just because you say you've done it, like the way the, everything she was saying, I had a rebuttal, and I, every time I had a rebuttal, it was like she always browbeated me and like bullied me into thinking I was making a wrong choice because oh you already got your time invested in Stevens, you should just you know sit it out a couple weeks and we'll get you back to that, we'll get you the the miles you need. It's like it's not about the fucking miles, man. I can run the miles. It's, I'm not running low miles because I'm not good at running miles. I can run miles. And then while I'm out here, that's what I said. I want to run. So it's not about that. It, I'm getting unlucky with these loads. You can keep trying to give me the miles. You think you're giving me the miles, but something happens, right? Traffic, all these fucking storms that are coming through in the south. Like, I'm sorry, I'm getting heated, so I'm starting to spit and shit. Fucking, I'm spitting bars, bro. So all this shit happens, and like you, we can't control any of that. They're trying to give me the miles, man. I got Mike up my ass trying to make sure that I'm rolling, and I am. I'm rolling. They got me pre-planned. They got me rolling. Like I, I don't stop unless there's some kind of hiccup. And then when the hiccup happens, you know, obviously there's nothing else to happen. They're not gonna switch me out for somebody else to come sit here. I've already got. I'm already laid the bed. You know, like I'm in the bed right now. I'm laying there. I'm resting until it's time to go. So it's just real bad luck. Okay, so the 20 minute spiels and the brow beating me and like she kept on like she's like, all right, well, you know, if you just already made your mind up and you're going to go to prime, the, the, her tone could, was completely off-putting. Any kind of reconciliation, she might have had any shred of willing to stay behind that I might have had was uh, like completely obliterated with her tone and the, the, the degradation that I felt while she spoke to me because... You know, oh yeah. But then she completely shot herself in the foot and nullified that 20 minute conversation that we both could have saved that time in our lives to not have even spoke to each other when she said she doesn't know how Prime operates. So her arguments were completely invalid. She knows about Stevens, but she should also know that there's a limitation on how much money you can make at Stevens because despite everything that you do, right? Let's go through the let's go through the motions one last time. I'm gonna add an additional one. I got the miles per gallon. I got the fuel purchases down. I'm on a fucking regional route that's reserved for people that have already been here over a year. I think it's even two years. So I've reached that. I'm here. I'm on that lane, right? That people wait years to get on. I got on it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a YouTuber. I don't fucking know. But I got here. People are waiting to get in this position that I'm in, and I'm still not making any fucking money. So, like, what? What? what I would have waited a year of my life, right, to get on this lane, and then all of a sudden, I'm I'm not making any money? Like, bro, so the veins are no fucking neck's trying to come out. I'm like fucking the Hulk. Like, ugh, ugh, ugh. you know, like, fucking, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah, Bonnie Dorsey, you need some counseling to learn how to talk to people. Along with the, like every fucking person in planning, uh, y'all need to learn how to talk to people. I mean, I know y'all deal with truckers all day, but still, like, you, you're you our, right? You're our customer. So you need to learn, like, I don't know. I think it's the other way around. I'm supposed to talk to the customer, right? But we're working for them, so we're in turn, we're their employee in a way. It's very convoluted and very compartmentalized there, okay? As well as probably every other company, but yes. I'm going to Prime. Uh, their lease purchase program makes a lot more sense to me than the one that Stevens. I've experienced Stevens lease purchase prime uh, program, and it will not work for me. I've got five kids, no insurance. I'm pulling six hundred to nine hundred dollars a week, depending on how much I spend on fuel. My break even is fifteen seventy one right now. It's going to be thirteen seventy one according to her, uh, and my working miles per gallon will be one twenty seven after everything's done with the current fuel surcharge, and that is not enough for me okay we're at 13 minutes let's move on i have a trip sheet where the price of the freight was actually listed on the on the bill uh and i wrote it down and i have it right here and i did the math and i took everything away from that check and just subtracted everything that was done with that load specifically okay and how much it cost so that load by itself, I had three loads that run. This load by itself paid $7,107.52. I got the bill on the back. That that load was uh, 897 total miles, 22 deadhead, 875 loaded. Okay, you guys know the, uh, I'm gonna need to spray some static guard. I'm, getting, I'm feeling the, the static electricity and shit. Um, so fuel, I spent a total of $372.96 on fuel. That's with their discount to get that load there. 
with this load I had to Kenworth, so I was pulling like six sevens. Very horrible fuel mileage. That's where most of my money went, was in the fuel. And then my maintenance account, six cents a mile, rounded up $53.82, totaling $426.78. Subtracting that uh, from my pay, which was uh, for that load, with the deadhead miles and the fuel surcharge just for that load, $11.91. I got paid $1,200 for that load. I subtracted the fuel in my maintenance account. I didn't subtract the insurance or anything like that or the, the truck payment because that was subtracted from everything. I probably could have done it and divided it by three to make it more accurate, but just to even give them the benefit of the doubt and give myself a little more money on this load just to see how much they pocketed from it. Now I paid the truck, I should probably include it, but I'm paying the truck, the insurance, any maintenance problems with the truck, the fuel, nothing comes out of pocket for them. I'm working so that I can pay for my fuel and shit, and they're still off the top. Now we're already at 11, 1200 miles, $1,200, minus the 426.78, that leaves me with $764.22 that I made off of that $7,107 load at 52 cents. So. Stevens pocketed from that load alone $6,343.30. I came out of that with less miles on my truck, less money in my pocket. Uh, $764.22 I made on that one load. Now, there's a reason why they don't put how much that, that's one key factor. They show you all your expenses and what you're paying for, your tolls, your fuel, and all that shit's all broken down for you. The one thing they don't show you is how much that freight was selling for. You're hauling so much money in behind you, and you don't know how much you're hauling because they don't want you to know how much they're fucking you. Okay? That's what I've gathered from that. And I've, I'm living it now. It's like, so with Prime, 72% of line haul, man. I'm not working cents per mile. I'm chasing revenue now. So with the revenue, with that 7,000 mile load, 72% of that, it's like five grand, right? Truck payment's a little more expensive. I'll grant, granted, like lowest one, I think is like 1200 bucks, right, a, a week. But if you're making line pay, you're making 5,000 on that load plus fuel, then they have the same discounts as Stevens. If not, I mean, there might be some fluctuation. I'll be able to give more details on that whenever I start uh, because I'll be doing YouTube videos on that too. Uh, believe me, you guys are coming with me. It's Trucker Dude Brent, not Stevens Trucker Dude Brent, okay? I'm not gonna forget where I started, right? I started at Stevens and I just, I can't, I can't survive with, with the way they do shit, okay? So, I'm moving on already. Prime's taking me in. I'm gonna try it out Prime. I'm gonna try chasing this line, this line hauling, man. I, I don't wanna drive for cents per mile anymore, okay? So, uh, eventually, I, I, I already see like six months, I'll be able to train with Prime. They offer substantially more money training. And then every referral I get, with Prime, after six months, if I give them my driver code and they give my driver code, I get four cents per mile raise uh, on the line hauls permanently for every driver that lasts six months with Prime. Versus like a broken up $1,000, which still is nice, don't get me wrong, but four cents per mile and I'm hauling, you know, if I'm, if I'm even hitting 2,500 miles, you know, like a week with them, which will pay more, but yeah, that's another thing that, that Bonnie was saying was like, I'm gonna have to learn it all again. I'm gonna have to learn how to do it all. I was like, well, I'm still new, right? Wouldn't it make sense for me to jump ship now instead of waiting? You know, like I have to learn how to work the system as Steven. She's basically telling me shit to, she's telling me to do shit that I was told not to do. Like holding on to trips. Like they've sent countless Qualcomm's about us not holding on to trips. So I don't hold on to trips. So I'm betting on being able to put money into my home time account so I can take time off, but I'm not making enough money to put money into my home time account. So now I feel like I can't take any home time. It's counterintuitive. I'm working so that I can take care of home, but I also want them to be able to see the person that is taking care of home. I wanna watch my babies grow up. I wanna take care of shit at home. So I can't do that if I'm not making any fucking money. And right now with Stevens, I'm not making any money. And even with the five cent increase and the calculations that I've done, I'm not gonna be able to make much more. It's only 2,500 miles a week. That's only 500 extra dollars a month. That's nothing, dude. And the price of freight has gone up 17%. With Prime, the 72%, that's all inclusive. That's included in. Anytime freight goes up, so does your pay at Prime, right? And probably at the latter, you, you, every time freight goes down, your pay goes down. But 
you're getting the full benefit of it instead of like a minuscule increase that might possibly be permanent with Stevens. But they give you these percentages to make it feel like it's a lot, but in reality, it's not. I mean, maybe for them, because they're coming out of pocket for each and every driver they have, they're giving them four to five cents of a raise. That's that's 10 to 15% increase in pay over the, the, over the whole company. So it's like, they're coming out of pocket a lot, but we're not seeing much of it. You know what I mean? It's like a class action lawsuit. You get 77 cent check in the mail, but the class action lawsuit was like for 11 million. There's just so many fucking people involved. You get your chunk of the change because you signed that petition, but you only get like 11 cents. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody gets an, a little bit of the change, but they're not giving you what you really deserve. And I just think I broke it down. And now take all that with a grain of salt, okay? Uh, don't take it as law. That's what I calculated. Uh, I had another Stevens driver send me, uh, a DM was actually able to send them uh, like their, their, their Unix system where it shows the price of the freight, how much their line haul is paying. And I was gonna break that down for them later. Uh, but I didn't wanna include anything uh, that might have like, that got, gave him away or ratted him out for any reason. But the same thing, you know, he's probably gonna make like five, 600 bucks off that load and it was paying like $4,000. So, and he's also paying for his truck and the maintenance fee and, and all that shit's coming out of the out of that minuscule pay that we're already getting, you know? So I feel like I'm making a good choice. Um, and I, I, I'm, there's nowhere to go but up, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe Prime has a glass ceiling, but I feel like it's gonna be a little higher, high enough that, that okay, let's say this, Million Mile Man, I'll put his link to his channel down below. Uh, he worked for Stevens for 10 years and he finally moved over to Prime, I think, like last year or the year before or something. I know it's, I haven't, don't quote me on it, dude. Um, but he moved from Prime and he has not regretted it. And he said something that really fucking like hit me, dude. And he goes, I finally feel, I've been driving for years. And he goes, and I, with Prime, I finally feel like the time away from home is justified with the amount of money that I'm making with Prime. And that, that struck my soul, dude. Like, because I don't feel like I'm getting ahead. I don't feel like I'm getting what I'm owed for the amount of work that I'm putting in with, with Stevens. I'm busting my ass and I'm doing everything that I can to maximize my revenue. And like I said, I'm hitting that fucking glass ceiling, dude, and I can't get past it. You know, the anti-Brent barrier I can't get past. It. And there's no way to fix that unless Stevens completely reworks their whole fucking system and starts paying their drivers what they deserve. You know what I mean? So... Oh, here we go. We already there's parking spaces everywhere, but these assholes are gonna park wherever the fuck they want because it's trucking, you know. Anyways, whatever. So yeah, uh, I got a couple of loads. I got this load that's due tomorrow, and then I got another load going back to New Caney tomorrow, uh, and that'll be on the 17th. And if I have to, I'll dead head back to da to Dallas, and I'm gonna turn the truck in, and then I'm gonna spend like 11 days at home, and then on uh, July 11th I'll be in. Uh, Springfield, Missouri at the uh, prime main terminal where they have basketball court, chiropractor, dentist, uh, swimming pool, uh, saunas, workout room. Like it's, it's like working at Google. And then, but you best believe I'm gonna catch all that shit. When I get back to the art, I'm gonna pick up my chest strap and I'm gonna use the fuck out of my GoPro when I go out there. So uh, to all my future prime fellows, uh, Happy to be a part of the team here pretty soon, and I'm looking forward to making real trucker money. Remember, gents and ladies, love and hate it, fucking rate it. Take care, and I'll see you all another time.